Hey guys, so today I don't think I could have made any more of a basic video. But pretty much every ch horse channel on YouTube has one of these videos, except for mine. So in case you haven't seen the other 10,000 videos on how to tack up your horse, today I'm here to add to that list. Okay, so before you even think about getting out your saddle, you need to groom your horse just like you normally would. Whatever your grooming routine consists of, fly spray, pick his hose. So once you've completely groomed your horse, the first thing you want to get is your saddle pad. So grab your saddle pad of choice. I like to put it a little farther up on the neck first and slide it down where it meets the withers. That way all the hair is flat. So after you get your saddle blanket on, you're going to grab your saddle. Everything should be flipped over the seat of your saddle, so the only thing dangling is your stirrups. So you're going to throw it on. If there's anything stuck underneath, push it out. Everything should be laying nicely. So this is pretty much what your saddle will look like at this point. The next thing you're going to do is pull down your girth, which should already be hooked up to your saddle and set to your horse. But if it's not, you can go ahead and do that and then pull down your breast collar, which I always leave connected to this right side. So here we have this. So I always like to do the breast collar first because it's the longest. If he steps on it, and it's a lot easier to break than your girth is. So I'm just gonna pull it around his chest and adjust it to the other side. So once you adjust your breast collar on the other side, you have this, your bottom one doesn't need to be hooked up yet because that will hook up to the girth when we do tie that up. So now we're on the other side and we're, I'm gonna always going to flip this stirrup up. You don't have to but it just keeps things out of the way. And then I always tie up my latigo strap so you can pull this down. And you'll have this strap here. Now you're going to pull your girth under your horse's stomach just like this. Put your latigo strap through the ring and then you have it like this so you're gonna go down through the loop again good boy he doesn't need to be too tight right now since I'm not gonna be riding him for another few minutes so I'm just gonna make it snug you know I can get a few fingers in here yet and I'll tighten him when we get on so I'm gonna go down again and this time, I'm going to cross over and go back up the ring on the other side. Oh, dang it. Just like that. And then you're just going to go down through this loop. And that's how your girth stays tied. So now, so now that you have your girth done, you can take this dangling strap of your breast collar and hook it either to the front or to the back ring on your girth. Either one, if it's a little longer, I always hook it to the back. Now for the breast collar, if you're new with breast collars, you always want the breast collar either above or on his shoulder bone right here. Should never be dangling way down here, always either up here or right on his um, shoulder bones. For the bridle, if your horse might walk away or likes to move his head around a lot, you can just take your halter, hook it up right here around his neck, and then he can't go anywhere while you're trying to bridle him. So for your bridle, I always like to put the reins around my arm, that way they're just out of the way. Now I'm just going to take my bridle, come with your hand around the other side of his face, around his um, jaw. Grab. I always grab the top, the crown piece, put it through his nose, and then since you have it up here, push his ears forward just like that to get the ears in. You don't want to like crunch up his ears because then it's just going to make it really uncomfortable for him. He's not going to want to be bridled. So then you have your throat latch. You want to do up your throat latch. Your throat latch doesn't really need to be tight. It can be loose and dangle a little bit. your chin strap to the tightness of your preference. Um, I always like to leave mine pretty loose but he has a hackamore instead of a bit. If you had a bit on your horse you would stick your thumb in his mouth like this. Come on. Get him to open his mouth and then slide the bit right in. 
All right, guys, so that is a super basic video on how to tack up your horse. You can use this video if you're pack tacking up to go barrel racing. I didn't use any polar wraps or foot gear or anything like that in this video, but I can definitely do a separate one. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.